would you would you uh, would you think it was cool if they took like all their old music that they didn't personally write like the stuff that was being written for them in the first like album or two or whatever and rewrote them but like with today's talent and like you know them writing it instead of other people helping them i think it'd be cool you know i mean there's definitely a spot for how it was and i think they probably feel the same way like this is where we were at the time and they totally respect the writers that were helping them out yeah and i think it, it would be really cool to have them kind of like well you know like akane the, the stuff she would add to some of those songs would just yeah. be insane yeah because i mean all come... of them you're right it would be interesting to hear like oh well now you know what would misa do differently than what she's doing then shit right like because <laughs> sometimes you hear them like even even with newer songs but they'll, they'll come on and they'll do like a new intro for a song when they play live and it's like uh they've done that for a couple of their other tracks sorry let me turn this off uh they've done that for a couple of their other older tracks where they add like a an intro or something like that but i would love to hear I mean, even the the most recent concert when they did Puzzle Live, they changed some stuff uh, in Puzzle, you know, from the recorded version. So I would love to hear like them take like, I don't know, maybe their like favorite 10 songs from before they were fully writing their own albums completely and then like redo them in the style that they do today and just see what they would change. You know, if it was all up to them, what would we have changed in these moments? Because the first thing I think about in Thrill is that there's not a lot of transitions. It's kind of like going from like the 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 main riff into the verse into the chorus type of thing right like transitions are very small and today they do transitions for almost every section where they go into another part so i totally think that some stuff would be changed even if it's just little minute details here and there yeah there's even stuff they change now from when when i saw them to their to tokyo garden theater like uh the parts konami plays like some stuff she was playing before is now part of the backing track and she's just playing something else and i wonder if that's just because she wants to do something different and she has so many yeah. parts she can choose from like there's some part key moments i was waiting for i think in like uh sense maybe that just weren't there i'm like what the what what <laughs> where's those two notes i wanted to hear you know <laughs> but it, was, yeah. it was quieter in the backing track and she's playing a different part <laughs> so. those two notes i <laughs> yeah right you're waiting for it <laughs> you're waiting for it yeah i mean and and i think you know i'm not saying that like those songs as they are currently constructed there's anything wrong with them i like them uh very much it's i just always think it's cool when bands grow and progress and then like you know let's see what they would do today versus maybe if yesterday. they did that they'd be more you know more happy to play them if they didn't feel like they were playing something they were uh being tied down to i guess or like it's already know, like, a finished product we're beyond this you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah i mean it's it's hard not like listen let's be totally honest here when they played the day of made, made show and they played thrill i mean they looked kind of bored playing that song like and it was the first time that i've ever seen them live and been like they don't seem super into this and it was only that song and i think it was just it was mostly like akane just kind of being like Ch -ch 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 yeah it was the first song i saw to them and it, it pulled me in yeah, and it's a good song. That's the other thing. Oh, like, yeah. it's a good song, especially it's if you've sad. never heard them before. You're like, oh shit! Like, who the fuck are they? This yeah. is awesome. A bass you solo know? and a guitar solo. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> this is a, it's interesting. It's like a double edged sword for me because I just uh, <clears throat> we saw Paolo Nutini not too long ago, Rosie's favorite artist, and he with all the songs from his first album, he did this. They were completely reimagined versions mm -hmm. that you know completely recomposed different chords uh just singing the same lyrics some different melodies for the lyrics and i like i thought it was really cool to witness that live but i was also like man i really wanted to hear him sing it the way it was on the album because yeah, i love that see that too yeah totally I saw metallica and they're like oh we updated to what the shit they're doing now i'd be like no play battery the way you played it <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to hear this new shit so I could, yeah, I could get you. Beastie Boys did that too. They never their live stuff. If you listen to the to the tapes, then hear them live. They, everything was almost completely different live. They'd have like these little a few elements that were the same from the studio shit, but everything else is totally different. I think that's so, cool, man. I, I mean, I know I get the idea of it. You want to hear what you you already know, you know. Yeah. But like, I'm that shit t immerses me. You know, like yeah. I was talking last week about how Blackpink did their show at Coachella and they did all remixes for every song. Yeah. And like, I loved it, man, because I was it was just like they've added more. It's more, you know, intricate. There's more stuff to pay attention to, type of thing. But it does, I can totally see it from the other end too. It does make it feel like you're really witnessing something special because, like. This is the first tour where they've played these songs this way and like 
you know, you have to be here to get this experience from this artist. Hey guys, thank you for watching. The Gaijin guys this year are really trying to up our game in the Japanese music news space. So we really rely on our Patreon supporters and our members over here on YouTube. So thank you so much. So if you guys can help, consider becoming a Patreon supporter or a member. And you also get exclusive group reactions from all of the guys. Stay awesome, everyone. See you in the next one. See you.